unchained. Hello? Wasli Samar, okay, Wasli. Uh, that are affected by change in the flow of a blood caused by change in the shape of the blood vessels. The type of non-contrast MRA, we have a dark blood and a bright blood. Dark blood will be with the SWI, inversion recovery, and uh, fast spin uh, echo. For the blight blood will be uh, time of a flight, face contrast, uh, steady state, uh, uh, free position, and uh, fast spin echo, and ASL. For the dark blood, we have uh, susceptibility weighted images, blood, uh, black blood MRA, that's more commonly used for the detection of calcification and hemorrhage. The SW imaging was originally developed as a blood, uh, black blood venogram technique. And we can use also the dark uh, blood imaging in the uh, inversion recovery for the cardiac that we can see it with a single or double or even a triple uh, 180 degree inversion pulse may be used to, sub uh, to suppress the signal from the blood and other tissue such as a fatty or myocardium based on their respective T1 value. The black blood uh, inversion recovery method are most commonly used for cardiac and vessel wall imaging. With the fast spin echo black blood, it's depend on the primary on the phenomenon of a flow related signal loss, as known as a wash out effect with additional to contribution from the spin defacing. This is an example with the uh, 3D fast spin echo that the image from four patients with congenital heart disease, the red arrow make the pulmonary venous, which are well uh, visualized on a 3D fast spin echo. If we move to the bright blood non-contrast uh, MRA, uh, first of all, it's the time of a flight which is MR technique to visualize the flow within the vessels without the need of administration of contrast. It is based on the phenomenon of a flow related enhance of a spin entering into an image slice, imaging slice. As a result of being uh, unsaturated, these spins give more signal that surround saturation spins with a 2D time of a flight, multiple thin imaging slices are acquired with a flow compens uh, compensated gradient echo sequence. This image can be uh, combined by using a technique of reconstruction such as a maximum uh, intensity projection, which is MIP, to obtain a 3D image of vessels uh, analog to congenital and uh, angiography. So the time of a flight with this 3D time of a flight, a, value, a volume of image is obtained simultaneous by the face encoding in the slice selection direction and angiography appears can be generated using MIP as it's done with a 2D time of a flight. This is the, the circus of, uh, circle of Wallace and the other one, which is uh, MRA carotid for the next of tissue. For face contrast technique uh, exploited the spin face effect as a proton flow through a magnetic field gradient, they gain or lose a face compared to the saturation background tissue. This face change may be translated into angiographic image because of the face shift is directly related to the blood flow. The face uh, contrast method are widely used to measure uh, vascular and CSF flow. 
and the amplitude, duration, and the spacing of the bipolar gradient determine the degree of sensitivity to flow, to, to slow or fast flow. This controlled by an operation selective, selectable parameter known as velocity encoding, which is VENC, which must be a, a prescribed barrier to any uh, phase contrast MRA or MRI study. That the proper setting of VENC is uh, critical to the to performing of the study. So this is some uh, phase contrast MRA. The first one, which is a 3D controlled renal uh, contra uh, phase contrast renal MRA. The other one, which is two. The second one, which is uh, the 2D phase contrast uh, MRV. And the third one, which is phase contrast flow mapping as uh, at the aortic uh, root. For the steady state of free precision MRA, that uh, balance technique like a trophist are emerged as an important method for non-contrast MRA of chest, abdomen, and pelvis. A high intravascular signal resulted from the intrinsic large T2 and T1 ratio of a blood compared to that of the solid tissue. Here are uh, the two images are example with the trophist, uh, which is sometimes you can say uh, Viesta and uh, with the GE uh, brand and it's called uh, trophist with the uh, uh, Simmons. So here for the imaging of the chest and the second one for the imaging of the kidney. For the fast spin echo, this means that will obtain the cardiac gating images in the systolic and diastole. During the diastole, the signal in both arterial and uh, venous is a high reflected the long T2 of a blood. During the systole, the venous signal remained high, but arterial signal dropped due to the flow-related signal loss. Subtraction of systolic from the diastolic images result in a pure arterial images. This is the uh, explanation that which is this is the diastolic minus the systolic, and then it will give us the uh, arterial images. In the arterial spin labeling, which is ACL MRA, as an ACL method, the uh, upstream, the spin, which uh, subsequently flow into the image volume, are first tagged with 180 degree inversion pulse. Background tissue is suppressed either by subtraction method required to uh, acquisition or by applying a special non-selected pulse to the image volume in a signal uh, in a single acquisition. The ACL, the ASL technique can be obtained, uh, can be combined with the uh, SSFP uh, or fast spin echo method for an uh, enhanced uh, effect. The arterial spin labeling is an MRI technique using water in arterial blood as an uh, uh, endogenous contrast agent to evaluate the perfusion non-invasively. The, the ASL is available as a 2D EPI sequence and as a 3D uh, grass sequence. The ASL 2D include inline calculation of uh, uh, real I CPF map for a quantitative evaluation of perfusion. The ASL 3D uh, uh, the 3D includes inline calculation of perfusion weighted maps for a quantitative evaluation of perfusion.
We can use the uh, ASL with the acute, uh, acute stroke evaluation of TIA, which is a transient ischemic cerebral attack and the chronic cerebrovascular disease. Degenerative disease like Alzheimer's disease and the frontotemporal uh, uh, dementia, evaluation of a brain tumor, functional evaluation of the brain with the bold technique and interv intervention planning. These are uh, how it's the art, the uh, ASL MRA combined with the others to, to get the, uh, uh, the best information that you need, which is here. The first one, it's ACL data shown with the Neuro 3D uh, task code. And the other one, which is uh, hyperfusion with the right frontal meningioma. So the indication generally of the MRI for the arterial application, the stenos, the steno uh, occlusive and aneurysmal disease, mesenteric, celiac, iliac lower extremity, and the trans transplant planning for the venous. Uh, application, pelvis uh, congestion, uh, may, uh, may uh, thronal syndrome, which is iliac vein and pelvic DTI, mesenteric portal thrombosis. For the indication uh, and additional of the MRA, the suspected vessels displacement or uh, a variation due to mass lesion as well as in the thrombosis. Here you can see in the MRA of the circle of bullets, deformated 3D MRA image demonstrated occlusion of the basilary artery in the patient with acute uh, bilateral central infarction, the top of basilary uh, thrombosis syndrome. MRA is also an alternative to the angiography and the evaluation of the aneurysm or uh, dissection. This is the example of the aneurysm, and this is the normal blood vessels. So uh, uh, the other one, which is the, the aneurysm and the, and the other uh, blood vessels uh, type. Here is the map of the image of the large uh, sacular uh, cerebral uh, and in addition to rule out the stenosis, here is the example of the stenosis for the uh, uh, cerebral vascular shown narrowing of the left TCA uh, segment. So what are the advantage of non-contrast MRA? Because of the MRA is non-invasive procedure, it's very safe, and it can be performed in a people with the old age. Unlike radio, uh, radiography, the MRA doesn't expose you to any ionizing radiation. And instead, the magnetic resonance angiography are created by using a magnetic field and a radio, radio frequency wave. The magnetic field is not known to cause any tissue damage. With a contraindication of MRA, the, uh, uh, that you cannot perform it with some patient who have a, some metallic implant, which is uh, uh, non-MRI compatible, a device such as a hearing aids, cardiac pacemaker, uh, which, is, which is not MRI compatible, defibrillation and uh, objects such as uh, orthopedic pins, screw and aneurysm clips, sharpenels, and jewelry can be interfered with the magnetic field. Conversely, the magnetic force created by the imaging machine can cause the device to malfunction or uh, 
object to move inside the patient's body. Uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Uh, and thanks for this opportunity. Uh,